Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, I am going to cover release planning. What to do, how to do a release planning. Release planning is basically what? Release planning is basically to create a plan to increment our product. So, we have set of functionalities in our product backlog which we are going to put in our release backlog. So, during this release, how many features we are going to implement. Say for example, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 features in particular product to be added. So, I choose 4 out of 7 in my release backlog. This is my the first step of release planning. So, let us see who is involved in a release plan. Release planning first one is scrum master as a facilitator whose functionality, whose work is to facilitate release planning to ensure everybody gives their input, knows the output. So, product owner. Product owner represents the general view of product backlog. He is actually acts as a client. Then your agile team. Agile team, the developers, testers, team lead, a team to provide insight on technical feasibilities of a particular uh, feature or any dependencies which lying for a feature so that it cannot be developed without particular dependency is done or not. Stakeholders. Stakeholders are advisors or decision whose decision can influence a particular functionality to be developed. So, stakeholders act as advisors so that decisions are made around the release planning. So, let us see prerequisites of planning. So, what prerequisites are? A prerequisite says your product backlog should be ranked properly. Ranking means which is high priority feature, which is low priority feature. So, once this ranking is done, which is managed by product owner, you have normally 5 to 10 features which are taken, which product owner feels can be included in a release. So, team input about capabilities, known velocity, like how much effort they can put in this particular time frame so that a particular feature or user story can be developed. Any technical challenge is there or not. High level vision is completed. Your mar market and business objective is to be met for these features. If a feature is giving no business value to the customer, then there is no use of developing that particular feature at this particular time. So, we have to see whether market and business objectives are met or not. Acknowledge whether new product backlog items are needed or not. This is time frame development. So, we see if we are able to have more time to develop more functionality, then let us add new product backlog. So, what the next step is? Materials required. What are the materials required? Because there are so many people involved in this particular meeting. So, we have posted agenda, we have clear purpose, we have flip charts, whiteboards, markers, we have projector which sh shares information. Uh, we have sharing computers so that having data tools required during planning meeting. We have the planning data clearly envisioned. So, planning date. Planning date has to be established almost two months before. So, previous iterations and release planning result should be stored so that we can see what to be done, what not to be done, what are the action items. Then we should take feedback from various stakeholders. Stakeholders are your product owner, your market uh, clients, we have market conditions or deadlines. These are various stakeholders. Then action plan on previous religious iterations. Action plan basically states, okay, the problem that we face during previous iteration development or release development, we should not face such problems again. So, what were the action items that were taken at that particular time so that we can develop without any glitch. Features or defects to be considered these are the enhancement to be done this to this particular product. Then velocity from previous releases estimates. In previous release, what was the velocity? Velocity says the effort estimate that we put during development. So organizational and personal calendars. These personal calendars, organizational calendars says how much holidays are falling in this particular time frame so that we can establish our calendar. Then input from other team and subject matter expert to manage any dependency. This is required so that we can identify the risk before time. So, what is the final outcome? Final outcome would be a release plan with set of commitments, with set of issues, concerns, dependencies, assumptions, which are to be monitored properly during this release planning and any suggestions to improve further release plan, which act as an action item. 